Okay guys, this is a very exciting day. If you're one of my faithful followers, you know I've been trying to breed my Green Bottle Blues for a long time. I had many failed attempts at breeding. I finally cohabbed my male with three different females, individually of course. I finally got one beautiful egg sac and before I could get to it, the mother dropped it in the water and killed the egg sac, which was horrible. Finally, I found a new egg sac, pulled that one two weeks ago, and today we will have the moment of truth. Is the sac fertile? We're going to find out soon. So I've got my tools here. I'm preparing to begin the dissection and um, so let's get started. So my initial observation is that the sac is light and fluffy. Sometimes it being very dense can be kind of a warning sign. Um, I have been turning this twice a day for the last two weeks. And about Wednesday of last week, the consistency of the sac changed from a very smooth roll to kind of a rough roll which I'm hoping indicates that we've got animals growing and that we went from a cluster of eggs to possibly eggs with legs. So the most critical cut is this first puncture through the sac because you're totally blind. And obviously you don't want to kill any of your slings especially since we have no idea what we're cutting into here. For all I know, I only have a few viable babies and I may hurt those. So this is a big day for me because it's been over 13 years since I've produced cyanopubescence. Okay, this is good what I'm seeing so far. So what you can see uh, I've got here are a bunch of beautiful eggs with legs. Every single sling so far looks to be alive and thriving, which is amazing. I'm ecstatic right now. Although I'm also being very, very cautious, so. So now I've got the egg halfway open I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to my incubation chamber see all the layers of silk here Oops. So here is the outside of the sack and the inside. So you can see there are a few darkened areas where we had eggs go bad. But overall, great success rate. So now what I need to do is remove any tainted areas. Uh, for example, this one might be okay, but I'm gonna make sure that it's separated. Ones that are in question, I incubate, but I keep them separated from the rest of my babies. I'm just going to move a good cluster of these over to another chamber. 
and then spread them out. So I've got all these kiddos separated out as best I can. We're going to put the lids on and transport them to the incubator. So in my estimation, I've got several hundred eggs here to be sure. So obviously there's no way to know that every single one of these will live and uh, I haven't counted them. But um, hopefully we'll have a whole lot of GBB soon. So. Keep you guys posted.